right, welcome everybody. We are going to make us some shrimp and corn soup. And Daddy getting off of work soon. His mommy couldn't hurt two cents in. And uh, so I want to kind of have it at least almost done whenever he gets home. He probably won't be home until 6.37, so I should have some time. Now, right below me, where you can't see, I got me some green onions. Well, not green onions. My Trinity mixture, and I'm just kind of getting those soft in some um, butter. Now, I've been cooking these for about uh, 10 or so minutes, so I'm going to pull this off of here. And I'm going to bring this other pot over here. Now, in this pot, I have been working on a roux. And all I did was make a small roux out of some butter and flour. And I wanted to get it, let's see, can y'all see? Good. I wanted to get it that pretty peanut butter color. So it's pretty much there. I took it off that fire over there and let it sit for a minute. So we're going to let this heat kind of back up. And then to that, let's add our onions that we just chopped up. So that way it doesn't start cooking and getting real hot immediately. Because really and truly our roux is essentially done. And our onions are kind of soft. And again, I just softened this in butter, so I'm not adding anything to it but butter. Now, shrimp corn soup is has a lot of dairy in it. Some people call it bisque. Call it what you want. There's a hundred ways to make this. I'm just showing y'all how I do it, okay? So these onions are going to slow down the cooking process for the roux. Now, in my roux, I went ahead and seasoned my roux this time. Um, I put a little bit of Cajun seasoning and a little bit of black pepper. Nothing fancy. Probably about a tablespoon of each. Or a half tablespoon, not even a half tablespoon of uh, black pepper. Hey, Miss Brenda, how you feeling? <laughs> Let's see. I can't see these comments. Maybe if I turn it this way. I can see them, but they're getting cut off. So, there they are. We're making some corn and shrimp bisque or soup. We call it soup here. All right, look how that's getting all nice and pretty and cooked down. See, we got us a nice peanut butter color going on with our roux. Now, to that, we're going to add one quart. Let me see if it took it out. Oh, Lord, all you can see is my big old booty. Uh, no, it's right here. Heavy whipping cream. This is what I got. I get the Walmart Times. One quart of heavy whipping cream. And we're going to add that right into that. Now, we got a big family, so we're going to make us a big old pot. Okay, Miss Martha from Georgia. All right, now, we're going to pour this whole quart in here. Stir that in. Just like so. And sometimes I add two quarts, but I want to see how... Um, sometimes I add two quarts of milk, but only when, okay, so look, let me show you. I'm going to add, well, I was debating on this one. I'm not going to add this one. We're going to add us a, a can of cream and mushroom soup. Oh, thank you, Dreamer. She had a good time. I got a house full of little boys here. That's not mine. And uh, her little boyfriend's in there with her watching something new. All right, now we got, we're gonna add us a cream of celery. Hi, Miss Diane. All right, let's add that in there. Come on, get out, get in the pot. 
There it goes. Pretty much all of it. And we're going to start out around. I've got too many spoons. Take that out. Stir this around in here. All right, now to this, as that heats up and breaks up them uh, soups, we're gonna make it even richer. Miss Sandy, we making uh, corn and shrimp soup. All right, to this, let's go ahead and add our seasonings in. We're gonna add about, let me turn the stove off over here, about a tablespoon of your Cajun seasoning. And another tablespoon, well, be careful with pepper, okay? I'm putting in about maybe half a tablespoon. I like it spicy, though, so you might want to cut that in half. All right. To that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And I'm just using this Heinz. Liam Perrins is fine, too. Whatever brand. Oh, we woke up with snow this morning in Georgia. That's nice. I hear y'all getting slammed over there on the East Coast, and I'm so sorry for that. But if you have all this stuff, make you some soup, because it's good. It'll warm you to the bone. All right, so we're going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I hate these little shaker things. Let me put it in my sink. Shake it. All right. So in goes our tablespoon of Worcestershire. Let's stir that around so we can get in there and get to cooking, flavoring up everything. We're probably gonna go ahead and add that other quart of um, heavy cream. All right, now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of hot sauce. Of course, I like Louisiana brand. That's the one I use. But you can do whatever you want. And a little to grow on. Now, of course, if you're not, if you don't like spicy, you can leave that stuff out. Now, to our soup mixture, now this also can be optional. I like mine a little bit rich, so we are going to add a whole block of cream cheese, an eight ounce thing of cream cheese. And I just picked up Philadelphia because actually Jean picked it up. I would have probably got the generic. Rain in most of Nova Scotia, rain in cats and dogs, my goodness. It's been pretty calm here today. A little chilly, not too bad. I think it's going to be really chilly tomorrow. Now, I've been letting this sit out to be room temperature, so mine's going to be real soft. Me too, Debbie. I love me some hot sauce. It's a staple in this house. Oh, my. I hear Maine is really getting hammered. Boy, that looks good, huh? Well, let's add our cream cheese in here. I just put it on my spoon so it wouldn't splash me. And we'll let that melt down kind of gradually. Now, I'm about to do something that not every one of you should do. We're gonna add a little tiny bit of this Louisiana. It's a crawfish crab and shrimp boil, okay? Now, you don't like spicy if you got a stomach thing going on, you want to leave this step out. You do not want to put a whole lot. I'm putting maybe about half a cap full, okay? Half a cap full. And we're going to add that in there. Ooh, I love the way that smells. Reminds me of crawfish season. It's right around the corner, y'all. Big Daddy's going to be out there cooking us some crawfish where you know it. All right. Now, let's stir this around a little bit. 
Mm, boy, that's gonna be good. Oh my gosh, I forgot something. But that's okay, we can add it later. We can do it on the side. Here, let me um turn the stove over here back on. Mm -mm, it's good already. Okay, now to this we are going to add two cans of sweet cream corn. Now, if you're not cooking for as many people as me, you can definitely cut this recipe in half. Crawfish is good, girls. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's very salty, though. So if you're on a restricted salt diet, you probably should steer clear of bold crawfish. All right, now we're gonna add to this two cans of regular corn, but I'm gonna drain it. Yeah, the kids like it. Well, Caroline's not crazy about it because she don't like shrimp. But the rest of them like it. All right, let's throw this in here. Now, I'm going to move this pot back over to my stove. And we're going to let this cook for about 20 minutes. Stir it often. Actually, before we do that, let's add... That's really thick. Let's go ahead and add some more liquid. Which I know I'm adding heavy whipping, heavy whipping cream, but, and that will thicken it, but I need more juice. So we're gonna add another thing to heavy whipping cream. Now remember, I'm making a huge pot here. So if you don't have this many people to feed, you definitely could cut this recipe down. good already. We ain't even adding no shrimp to it. Alright, so we're going to let that cook together from Mary for about 20 minutes. While that's going, we're going to add, sometimes I add this and sometimes I don't. Okay, so I'm about to show it to y'all. Oh, it's heavy. Now, this is the pot that I cook the onions and stuff in. And we're just going to use the same one, okay? We'll let that heat up. Let me grab us some Tasso and some... Well, I guess we can just use it on here. But I'll show you the Tasso. Let's look at it because I know Terry, she lives in Kentucky. And she's I mean, when I talk about Tasso, she don't really understand what it is. So I guess y'all don't have it. I don't know. But this is what our Tasso looks like. Okay, it comes like this. It's just a different brand. This is made of pork. It almost is like ham-like. We'll go ahead and add it so I can show it to you. Then we're going to slice this up some andouille. Okay? Now, these other meats, you don't have to put in here. We just like it, um, the flavor of this smoked meat. So, you, don't, you can leave it out if you want to. But we'll go ahead and add it. And honestly, I probably would have, if I wouldn't have forgotten about it, I would have added it whenever um, I was doing my room. But that's okay. It don't matter. Okay, so andouille is just a big old piece of sausage. It might have higher fat content. I'm not real sure. But it's just a different kind of sausage. And all we're going to do... Just slice this bad boy up. Oh, 
I got a lot of shrimp over here too. I've got about three pounds of shrimp to go in there. So I don't want to put too much. I might just only put the on duty. That winging, like, make it colder. Well, I think the heater's on. Just turn the heater off. Oh. You can open a window. Okay, we're gonna get this good and brown. See the fat content? Isn't that pretty? And then we'll just add it in. Now, Big Daddy actually prefers to eat regular sausage, like just regular green onion sausage, but um, I prefer laundry, especially when I'm making the soup, because it's, I can't say it's more smoked, it just gives a better flavor. I don't know why. I put on Dewey in my gumbos too. Sometimes I'll put it in jambalaya, but mostly in jambalaya. I just use regular sausage. That's okay, Miss Julie. Don't you worry about that. Just be in here support us. Okay, now. I know I said I wasn't going to do this hot awesome, but since most of y'all really probably don't know what it is, I'll just go ahead and show you. We'll add it. Certainly ain't gonna hurt nothing. So it looks like it's one slab, but when you take it out, sometimes it's like pieces. And when we slice it up, see how it almost looks ham, like a ham? And I like to slice it kind of thin. And really, you just, you, I mean, you can eat it. Of course, I'm going to eat it. But if, I mostly use this meat for the seasoning, for the flavor. I just slice them really thin, well, pretty thin, and then throw them in there. We're gonna let it brown. What does it taste like? Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess like a Smith ham, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's the best way to describe it. You can see how, like all the red on there. It's got some like Cajun seasoning on it. I was really surprised that she had never heard of it. And that they didn't really sell it in your in her stores in Kentucky. Do they sell? Tell them where y'all are at. Tell me where you're at and if they sell it. But like I said, if you can't find it, just leave that part out. Just use you. If you want to use some smoked sausage, you can. If you can't find Lime Dewey. Is Lime Dewey near y'all? Or is that a Louisiana thing too? Alright. Let's get that meat all brown up. Do I have this one high? Yeah, it's about as high as it'll go. Throw this thing away. Okay, got meat hands over here. I'm gonna just wash it a little bit. All right, we're grabbing a paper towel. Making some corn and shrimp soup. Let me use this spoon here. This is the one I was using to brown my onions. Let me show y'all meat. There we go. So we'll just get this all nice and brown. 
And then they sell it in Texas. I figured they would sell it in Texas this winter. Tennessee has it. Tasso. Have y'all ever heard of Tasso? Well, if Tennessee has it, you would think Kentucky would have it. <laughs> North Dakota doesn't have it. No, not in northern Michigan, but you do have the on duty sausage. Okay. <sighs> Come here. Are you calling me a granny? Yeah. Um, yes, it does have adjustable shelves. Who asked me that? Miss Brenda. It does. And I bought that thing in 2016. I'm going to pull this back. Ooh. Back to me. Because I don't like looking at my head like that. So maybe you can all see. I'm seeing it in specialty meat stores, but not. Never heard of it in Pennsylvania. You just use regular smoked sausage. Whatever your favorite brand is. It'll be fine. Or you can leave it out all together, because you're going to put um, shrimp in your soup. Let me get my soup to stir. over here after the on dewy is uh, kind of brown. Yes ma'am it is pork. Do, you, do I brown the shrimp? No I'm going to put those in raw. On dewy is a Cajun sauce. Yep I thought so but I didn't know if they sold it other places. I mean, I'm sure they do. Take you find the time then. All right, let's see. Just small pieces of pork crammed in a package around other pork. Just not always called tasso. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure you have different cuts of meat everywhere that bite. Tasso is T A S S O. I looked on Amazon and Spice Racks and can't decide on one. I have a lot of large spice jars. Um, that one fit, you know, those big spice jars that I use. And, well, they're not jars, they're plastic. Gotta get sand. You know, these big containers. It fits it quite nicely and it has. A little bit of rain in the front. Or behind it. Um. Are the recipes in my family? Um. No. I just kind of, a lot of times I just make them up for those. Because really there's there's no one right way to make this. Just like sometimes I add the tasso and the sausage and sometimes I don't. Smells so good. I wish I had smell a vision. The name brand of my skillet. Oh, I don't know. This is a cheap skillet Big Daddy got at Walmart. I actually didn't want to buy it. But he said he needed one and whatever. There it is. So now I'll have to use this thing until it cutters out. But I wanted one of those stoneware ones. We're going to make some uh, shrimp and corn soup, Miss Tina and Miss Linda. This part is completely optional. You can leave this part out and not put the meat in it. But either way, you want to get your soup over there cooking. This is some andouille sausage and some taco. And we're just browning it up. We're going to add it to our soup. Oh, Mr. Trisha, welcome. I'm glad you can catch a live. Taco is available in Charlotte. They have it in the city. I think it's all good. QVC has an over-the-door rack. You might want to check that out. Oh, it smells so good. It really does. Let me get my soup to stir. You're in Georgia and never heard of it? What? Well, that's funny. I would have thought y'all would have heard of it. Okay. 
Mm. That's good. Daddy's gonna say it's not spicy enough, but he can add some to his one. Well, it's making a little bit of grease. Not too, it's not too bad. It's kind of like a sausage. So, Ms. Linda, this beef is really good, girl. It's good. So if y'all come to Louisiana, grab me some pasta to take back. And the Andini is just, it's just a different kind of pasta. Okay, so Andini is tricky, and I might not even spell it right, but it's A-N-D-O-U-I-L-L-E. I'm the worst speller ever, but it's something kind of like that. I know. Kelly, I was just thinking the same thing. But, um, I was trying to find some wood to knock on. Yep, shrimp and corn soup. Some people call it this. Whatever floats your boat. We're having a burger king. That sounds good to you, girl. I love me a good whopper. It's taking a little bit longer around because there's a lot of meat in that pot. Two feet of snow, 13 degree blizzard. My goodness. Alright, I'm going to eat this little piece here. This is the casing that goes around it. You can eat that. I'm just going to take it off. Mm-mm. Chicken, broccoli, and Velveeta cheese. Yummy, Jackie. That does sound good. <laughs> They're bound to come out sooner or later, Kel. Don't worry about it. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Well, it's not all the way brown, but... Dang, it's good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You have my piece. My name is Jane. I hear Pittsburgh getting a pretty rough, Miss Susie. Mm. She says Hillshire Farms makes a pretty decent on duty. You'll find it where the hot dogs and kielbasa are. Mm. We have a problem out February 4th. Mm -mm. H-E-B carries Tasso. All right, that, that's it. You're getting blocked. Lock you. They can't count. I love to fry potatoes and put this in great the this would be good in fried potatoes. Pittsburgh is 19 right now. Holy moly. That is cold. Am I a chef? No, Lisa. I'm just a mama. I've never been to culinary school or did anything. I just I, I just cook on my thing one. I make up as I go. And I don't know. Like, all these chef people can tell you, you put the salt to bring out this flavor and you do this, but, but I don't know that stuff. I mean, not that it's blood, I just don't know it. Hillshire is the only thing you can find in your Florida, in Florida. So that would help people in other parts of the country. There you go. 12 inches in Maryland. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. We don't even have to ask when we get a couple inches of snow here. And it's rare that we do, but we do get it. Not yet this year. 
You don't like seafood? Well, you probably definitely won't like this one, girl. It's kind of like a clam chowder, I guess, and it's like I used to put up brown sauce just like that and fry it and put in the beans. And your kids called it pick nose and beans. That's adorable. But I put sliced sausage in my beans too. I rarely make beans because I used to not like beans anymore, but now I do. So maybe we'll make a good hot beans one day. That's easy. Everybody can make beans. Okay. I'm going to take this and put it in that soup. And I'm going to bring that big pot back over here. flavors for a few minutes and then we're going to add our shrimp we are making a uh, shrimp and corn soup so in here we got two cans of cream corn and two cans of regular corn look at that isn't that pretty we've got some andouille sausage and some tasso let's see in philly i hear philly's getting it really bad it is a big pot in town. I got a big old family. Now, if you feel uncomfortable putting raw shrimp in your soup, you can um, you can boil it first. You can brown it. Whatever you want to do. Up to you. Sometimes I put it in raw. Some things I boil it. It just depends. 18 inches of snow, my goodness. And it was a horrible for a girl who <laughs> that's from South Georgia. There's a red bean gumbo too. Um, great white northern beans would be good. Let's see. You think so in this? I don't know. I mean, I guess we ain't gonna try it today. But let me think about that. Maybe I can put a little on the side and add it and see what we think. Do I make bread? Actually, my father-in-law sent me a recipe for some bread to try. So we're going to try to do that this week. Oh, Emily, I wish you were closer. You're more than welcome. They say Boston's going to have about three feet or more. My goodness. New Jersey has over a foot. I ain't going to lie. All that snow and ice is like my version of hell. I just, it's scary. I would never leave my house. Nine brothers and sisters, so I know how you, know how you cook. Yeah, girl. Um, Miss Brenda, I wish you lived next door too. Miss Lynn, we making shrimp and corn soup. Or corn and shrimp soup. Or chowder, if you want to call it that. Whatever you want to call it. It's going to be good. What soups did I put in? What, okay, so I put in a cream of mushroom, cream of celery. Hmm. Was that it? Cream of mushroom, cream of celery? No, I did one more. Let me look. Cream of mushroom, cream of celery. I think that's it. I was thinking, I was really debating on putting, um, a can of cream of potato, but I didn't. Um, I, I just kind of was debating on it. Um, but I found a cream, only because the store didn't have cream celery, but I found one in the um, pantry, so I just scratched that off the list. 10 million people affected by snow I couldn't handle it. Tell it. Oh, Lori says a minus three in Vermont. Can you imagine? Thank you, Miss Helen. New Jersey, two, 20, and, 20 and seven inches of snow. 
Oh, 20 degrees. Aw, thank you. Who said that? That's so sweet. Miss Emily, that's so sweet. Thank you. Girl, girls, us girls don't have time to wallow and stuff like that. We just got to pull up our panties and keep on marching. I know it's hard on you, honey. And I'm so sorry you got to go through it. Especially when you got kids, you, just, you ain't got a choice. Margie from North Louisiana. Chunks of potatoes. It was like a cream of potato soup. Here. This is what it looked like. I've actually, I think I have put it in here before, but I don't remember. But I only bought this because I couldn't find my green celery. So I could have used two cans of cream of mushroom, but I don't know why. I just prefer cream celery. But I was going to use that in a pinch. Or at least I was thinking about it. It's just a cream based soup. It would have been fine. I mean, that goes to show you, you can alternate this. Minus 17 in Pennsylvania. Girl, that is too cold. There ain't no sense in that. Minus 11 in Michigan. I don't get it, girls. I don't get it at all. Your mama had 12 children, 55 grandchildren, my gosh, 75 great-grandchildren, and 10 great-great-grandchildren. Oh, when she passed away. That's a lie, girl. I don't know how she could even keep up with all the kids. All right. Now, I got my shrimp over here defrosted. And I got my soup. I think it's on high. It is. But we're about to turn it down, okay? There's nothing, it's just defrosted shrimp. They've already been peeled, they've already been deveined. And we are just going to wrap them in here like so. Let's see, they got some in the center there. It's not completely. Or they've been sitting here for a while too. Alright, let's try again. We're just going to pop them in there. Just like so. You know, shrimp don't take no time to cook. Shell. Let me get that. that right there. <laughs> Caroline probably had her a leftover hamburger. She don't like shrimp. I can't imagine why. Lord knows she's had it her whole life. Some people call these prawns. I think, I don't know. I think prawns are bigger. Now, I got a bag of the extra small because they're kind of bite-sized. And then I got a bag of small, too. But only one pound of small, two pounds of the extra small. Big Daddy likes to have a lot of meat whenever he takes a bite. So, I make sure to put a bunch in here. I actually bought four pounds. But when I dumped the bags in here to defrost and saw it filled up with a whole colander, I figured that was probably enough. Quick, and we're gonna get that good stir and just let those shrimp cook. All right, I put in uh, heavy whipping cream. All right, let's give it a good stir now because these shrimp are cold, it's gonna bring down the temperature of my. You know my pot a little bit so 
It may take it a minute to get back up to temperature. Now, if you don't like it that creamy and that rich, you can add a little bit of chicken broth or you can add a little bit of water. And if we need to add more fluid to it, we will add water. Lord, two quarts of heavy whipping cream is good enough, huh, girls? I missed that. Is that, who said that? Mitchell. Where did you buy your shrimp from the seafood market? Usually I do try to buy them from the seafood market, but I ain't gonna lie to you. It was cold this morning, so I got them out of the freezer section at Walmart. Now, I did buy Gulf shrimp. So, I made sure it was local. Well, not local, but Gulf. If I lived in Maine, I'd probably buy Atlantic. You know, I just felt like that's more. When I, when I buy crawfish, like if I was going to make a crawfish uh, etouffee, which I need to make for y'all because y'all have been asking for that. Um, I make sure I buy Louisiana crawfish. Never buy that. Uh, they have some that comes from China. They, they're not that great. They taste fishy. I know that sounds silly, but some fish just has a fishy taste, and I don't like that. Miss Shonda, we're making corn and shrimp soup. Or bisque, if you'd rather. Or chowder, some people say that. But we call it corn and shrimp soup. I already added it. Miss Kathy, I added it right before I brought this big pot back over here. So it's in there. It's marrying all those flavors together. Don't like shrimp or anything to do with fish, so just enjoy this one recipe. <laughs> That's all right, Miss Connie. You probably could do it without the shrimp. Um, you could use crawfish, but I know you said you don't like seafood, but I'm just saying you could. You could also use crab. Let's see. I never showed the end product. Well, this essentially is the end product. Well, once the shrimp are cooked. And it's not that I don't mind showing it. It's that, that nobody wants to sit here for three hours. Sometimes it takes a minute. I made the beef and noodle steak. Girl, that was a good one. Oh, thank you, Miss Debbie. Ooh, 32 inches of snow. That's, that's something, girls. Can we have the recipe? Yes, we are going to have it on the website soon. We got fresh crawfish when in season. Um, from a market in Nashville, Tennessee, but that's 100 miles from me. Uh-oh. Thank you, Miss T. Thank you for sprinkling, you guys. If you go back and you see your favorite creator, whether they're crafting or cooking or whatever they're doing, um, the best thing you can do to help them is leave a little comment, watch for one minute, and share it with your friends. I know, I can't imagine not liking seafood either. But sometimes I don't care for it. So yesterday, me and my friend Charmin, uh, frozen corner can. You can do whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. You, it's your preference. Um, Miss Patty, you'd be more than welcome. You see, I got plenty in this big old pot for you. Um, anyways, we went and had lunch at a little local restaurant here. And we, uh, I got a catfish po' boy. And it was good. But most people from here like their catfish like real thin sliced and fried. This one wasn't real thin. It was kind of thick. And I liked that. Don't use shrimp if you don't like it. Try potatoes and chunks, maybe. That would be good. Especially if you're vegan or something. You don't want that. I think if you're vegan, though, can you have all that dairy? I'm not sure. I don't know the rules. Um, I showed, look, when I made it from the beginning, just you can kind of fast forward the video. If you need it before I can get it on the website. Um, I showed you every everything I put in it. First thing you do is make a roux with a stick and a, a stick and a half of butter and half a cup of flour. You get it nice and caramel colored or peanut butter colored. And um, once you get it that pretty peanut butter color, you add the onions. You could also add in your andouille and stuff and brown it then, which is what I was planning to do, but I forgot. Because um, I don't always add that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. 
Miss Carolyn, you have to, for right now, you have to just watch the video and just kind of write it down. But I am working on getting it on the website. I have a meeting on Monday um, to talk about somebody helping me with that. I also have a meeting on Monday to talk to somebody about doing some uh, video editing so that I can take these videos that y'all been watching me for, I don't know how long it's been on. However long, let's say an hour. If you haven't watched me for an hour, I'd like to cut them down and edit them and make them shorter so that they're faster. I mean, that way you can go back and watch it without the chatting if you need to. I'm trying to make it easier for y'all, but the truth is I'm not that great with technology. And I need to hire people to help me. But I don't know if y'all know this, but good luck finding somebody to hire right now. I have searched high and low. I have offered my left kidney and nobody will come do it. Nova Scotia, we are on the ocean. Lots of fish here. Lobster, too. Okay, so lobster I don't really care for. Y'all don't kill me. You people in Maine and I guess Nova Scotia. Um, it's okay. I don't hate it. Now, here in Louisiana, we'll take a lobster and we'll throw it in the crawfish bowl. Now, that I like. And I love me some Dungeness crabs, but we put it in the crawfish bowl. And then king crabs too. We put that in there. Who has some good stuff? But I find lobster like you. I don't even like red lobster. But if you go there, it's just kind of bland and it just has some um, butter with it. Which I like butter, but it's just too bland. So I don't know. I try. Look, Miss Shoney, I tried that at the high school. They have these classes that teach like video editing. I call two different high schools that around here. I can't even get people to call me back. So, aside from going to the school and like demanding to speak to a guidance counselor, I don't know what else to do. I did talk to another friend of mine. Her daughter is in college. She just started the semester this week. Okay, so she's a little overwhelmed right now. But she may be coming to help me. I mean, shoot, I'll take as many people as I can find. Caroline's supposed to be helping me, but you know how it is for young kids. They do it when they want to, when they want a couple bucks, and you pay them and they're gone. I've seen Joan do these videos with me. She'll read a comment or two and she scrams. Kids are very, very tech savvy. You would think, but you ask them to help you and they act like they don't know nothing. Hello. Especially Instagram. Like I would think that they could help me with that, but I'm just over there floundering like a little fish out of water. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So if you if you have if you aren't following me on Instagram, go over there and check it out. A lot of, a lot of what's over there is stuff that's already been over here on Facebook, but we're working on changing that. So it's just me though. I'm just one person. I'm doing the best I can, girls. Ooh, garlic bread would be good. Some people don't get out and they do enjoy the chatting. I know a lot of you don't. Look, I lost a lot of people, but that's okay. And this is essentially it's not done. But it's essentially done. Like all I'm waiting on is the um, shrimp to cook. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> See, that's a big old piece of andouille sausage right there. And then it's got some tasso in that spoon. I think I just dropped a shrimp. Look, there's a shrimp. I don't think it's done all the way though. So we'll just keep stirring it because you want to make sure, God help us, we want to make sure them shrimp are cooked. What topping? I might sprinkle some green onions on it, but nothing. You can put some cheddar cheese if you want. And actually, okay, so let me tell you about crab bowl. <laughs> when you add crab bowl and you taste it at first, it doesn't, how do I say this? You don't necessarily taste it, but you let you turn this heat off and you let it set for a little while, and then you go heat it back up and you eat it. You go taste that crab bowl a little bit stronger. I don't know why that is. I am a scientist, but it is. So I added a little bit of that crab bowl. I personally think it needs a little more flavor, a little more kick to it. I would add some more pepper, but I'm a little worried about that. So what we'll do is we'll just add pepper to your bowl whenever you fix it. And then tomorrow, when we have leftovers, it'll probably have a little more of a kick. 
It's stroking corn soup. I hope y'all like this. This one is it's, it's pretty easy to make and it's yummy. Oh, that would be good in a bread bowl, Miss Janice. Oh, Joanna, they complain all the time, girl. Yep, bacon bits might be good. I think I have some in there somewhere. All right, so that's pretty much it, girls. Uh, um, just gonna let this cook for a little while. Make sure those shrimp get nice and cooked. You don't want to overcook your shrimp, but I'm gonna let it go for about, I don't know, two or three more minutes, and I'm gonna just turn this pot off, and they're gonna keep cooking in the heat. So, that's it. <laughs> so, Miss Virginia says, she's not tech savvy, but she does need a kidney donor. She's been on dialysis for three years, and I'm on the transplant list. Well, honey, <clears throat> I wish you so much luck, girl. And I really would give you a kidney if I could. I mean, how do you say no to somebody? I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna live if I'm gonna get a kidney. You, you can't. And I got an extra one, so. You can't really say no to that, can you? I mean, you could, but I can't. Take one bite. Well, it's got that shrimp in there. I just don't wanna, um. Are you gone? I don't wanna. I don't know, I'm scared of it. All right. It looks like it's coming along pretty good, so. I just want to eat shrimp. All right, let's see what we got. Mm. It is good. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, I would definitely. I mean, I would definitely add some more hot sauce or some kind of pepper to it. But I'm not gonna because I think tomorrow it's gonna have a little more kick. You just add it to my bowl when I fix it. Yeah, you could definitely put some crab in it, Miss Patricia, if you're not a fan of shrimp. Yeah, it has to be nice and pink. Now it's covered in this yellow, but you can see this one's turning nice. Well, it was until I dipped it. Can you see the pink on it? So. It's almost done. I'm gonna let this cook for just a few more minutes and I'm gonna cut it off, and put the lid on it, and um, let it kinda wait until Big Daddy gets here. Let's see. What she said, I made this for my family of five before in a bread bowl. Yeah, that's what the lady just said. That would be great. But I ain't got time to make no bread bowls, girl. I mean, I know you could just make one big one. Pour it in there. Oh, thank you, Miss Emily. It is kind of like a chowder, Miss Deborah. Some people would call it a bisque. Some people call it a chowder. We just call it soup. What am I gonna have with it? Nothing. I'm just gonna eat soup. We're gonna, I'm gonna put some green onions on top, maybe. Um, but you don't even have to do that. We're just gonna put it in a bowl and eat it. That's it. We made corn and shrimp soup, Miss Colleen. All right, thanks everybody. So, Big Daddy will be home in about 30 minutes. So, I'll turn this off and just let it set for a little while, and then I'll be nice and ready when he gets home. And um, how big is my pot? Ooh, girl. I don't know, it might stay on the bottom. Ronnie, come here. Ronnie. Let's see if we can get on the root of one. I'm gonna hold this pot up and you look underneath, you gotta squat. Look underneath it and it says how many, see if it says how many quarts it is. On the pot. Oh, oh. uh, 14. 14. 14 <laughs> quart? Yeah. What are you laughing at? I was looking at the hot thing. She was looking at the hot place. She ding dong. Hey, Miss Andrea, or Andrea, probably Andrea. All right, well, I'm going to scram and get out of here. I'm going to cool off for a minute, and I will see you guys very soon. Y'all have a great, great day, and um, thanks for coming to hang out with me, and when you get a chance, try the soup. Leave out the parts you don't like. 
um, but it's really good. Or you can Google a recipe and kind of take what you like from that one and take what you like from this one and do your own thing. It'll come out good. I promise it will. You can't. It'll be fine. Just try it. Y'all have a good one.